The Prime Minister Robin Nabanja were meeting her Rwandan counterpart to hail the government of Rwanda for good relations, which have been strengthened with the opening of border crossings at Rampasha. I thank you and your government for promoting and maintaining warm relations between our two sister countries. I'm pleased to note that our diplomatic relations have further been strengthened by the opening of yet another border between Uganda and Rwanda in a place called the Rwempasha. The Rwempasha, yes. Yes, Rwempasha. This was on July 5th uh, last year. Since the Rwempasha. The Prime allowed the Rwandan government for clearing Uganda Airlines to operate in Chigali and the collaboration between Uganda Revenue Authority and Rwanda Revenue Authority. I'm also happy to note that the trade between our two sister countries is recovering following the reopening of our main Uganda-Rwanda border at Katuna in 2022. For example, the value or the volume of uh, Uganda's export to Rwanda has increased from 11 billion 501 in 2020 when the border was closed to over 248 billion 664 million as of <coughs> at the end of 2023. I want to thank you. The Rwandan Prime Minister Dr. Edward Ngirente considers all African countries as home. African countries, mm. and they must you to sign a guest book. I told them, I'm not, I'm, I'm telling them I'm not a guest, I'm here, I'm home, you know. Yes. Why should I sign a guest book here in Kampala? Yes. The Rwandan delegation included the State Minister for Regional Cooperation, General James Kabarebe, Rwanda's Ambassador to Uganda, Justin Nakami, UBC News.